Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a review of a Namisu fountain pen. This is the Namisu Nova Aluminium in Red fountain pen. This comes with a fine nib, and I will say something. Um, the nib is excellent, but it's also worth, if you're into seeing ink comparisons, this video is part of... It's one of two um, ink comparisons with the ink that I'm using in this fountain pen because the ink is, in my view, quite a fascinating colour. Quite an interesting ink. Anyway, back to the pen. This is, first and foremost, a fountain pen review. So, the Namisu Nova. Now, I reviewed the copper version of the, fountain of the Namisu Nova fountain pen quite a while ago now, last uh, year, 2020. Um, and the copper version is stunningly heavy. I mean, it is really, really, really heavy. Very weighty fountain pen. Whereas the Nova Aluminium, quite obviously made from aluminium, is lighter. And it's, and it's, it's incredibly tactile. It's a smooth, slippery fountain pen. Bear that one in mind. It's slippery and there is no clip. It is clipless and it will roll. It really does roll. Uh, so just bear that one in mind. Let's have a look at the parts of the pen. We have a conically domed cap up here. That's conical rather than comical. Um, the cap does flare out to the barrel, meets the barrel and then tapers down again where we have a similar conical sort of finial there. All machined out of, you know, one piece of aluminium. There's no inserts or anything on this fountain pen. And of course, no clip. Very, very smooth. Slips into pockets and pen rolls incredibly easily. Really nice looking red as well. I don't know how well this is coming out over the camera, but it's, it's a nice, rich but not bright red. Um, very, very well done nicely anodized i'm assuming it's anodized and there's not a lot going on inside there we've got metal threads metal threads and if you will notice that these are devoid of anodization on there now i can't possibly say whether this is a design issue. I have, had, I have had a look on the Namisu website www.namisu n-a-m-i-s-u dot com um, and the photographs of the Namisu Nova aluminium also show that there is no anodized bits of the uh, threads there. It's no big deal it was just one of these things because I did buy some of these pens and um, as prototypes, as you can see, there is a little bit missing off there or worn off inside there, and the cap on the threads. Um, but it's no big deal, and this coating anodization is solid, it's, it, it's good, it's good. Steel nibs, I think the Bok nibs. Ooh, let's try and read. That one, that looks, yeah, Bok steel nib. Um, there are nib options available with these um, Namisu fountain pens. They usually offer, uh, I believe, fine, medium, and broad. It might even be extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. And I keep ending up with either broad or fine nibs in these for some reason it's i don't know just don't know keep ending up with those and i actually really really like them and um, this is once again incredibly tactile very very smooth matte finish really really nice uncapping i'll do the uncapping first then we'll talk about capping because that is well worth discussing less than one turn so you've got a pen, a screw to uncap pen that takes less than one turn. Black plastic feed, steel buck nib, range of nib sizes available. Um, takes cartridges, standard international cartridges or converters. And 
I think the car, the um, they're supplied with a cartridge. I think the converters are an optional extra. I've never bothered with them because I've got hundreds of the things lying around. And does the pen post? Yes, it does. It's not very secure, but it does post. And it sort of rattles around a bit. Not something I'd really want to do. Um, not recommended. But overall, the pen is a good size in the hand. Nice to see that the section actually matches the, uh, the rest of the pen. That is a good thing. And it's the same matte metal section. Now, slippery sections, slippery metal sections. This is one. I'm sorry to say it, but if you've got any doubts about holding a metal section that might be slippery, this is not going to do it for you. Even though it's a matte finish. I know some people have issues with um, polished metal sections. This pen is slippery for me. And it might be because my skin is generally quite dry, especially at this time of the year. Um, it's, it's, it is slippery. It is slippery. So do, do consider that. And I said about uncapping the pen. Capping is a satisfying experience because it is so smooth. It just, you just, you take the cap off, write a quick note, and it just spins quickly and, and very securely onto the barrel. It's really, really impressive. It doesn't work in my left hand. <laughs> There we go. Really, really nice capping action. Really good. Definitely one of the most satisfying screw capping experiences I've actually had with a fountain pen. So I really do like that. Um, let's compare this pen. If it will stay with a Lamy All Star. Very similar in size uncapped, I won't bother trying to post anything because the Namisu Nova isn't really a posting pen, so very similar in um, in size, a little bit girthier than the Lamy All Star let's get my Rodeo pad Oops, see, it's slow, so slippery, I nearly lost the pen then. And do all caps <laughs> because this is a fine nib and the ink isn't massively great on the camera, but the ink is interesting. So it's Navisu, Namisu Nova Aluminium. This is the red, and this has got a fine steel nib. Oh, there was a bit of a skip there, but I think that's because I haven't really been um, using this pen very much. This is currently my, let's wipe off this crud off the, uh, ink off the, um, the nib there. Smarten up the pen a bit for its video debut there we go it's a bit better um, this is the pen that I'm using at work to take uh, my red notes at the moment And it writes brilliantly, very, very nicely indeed, decently wet, fine nib remember. Lays down the ink very well. These Bok nibs, I know some people tend to complain about them because there is some variation, some quality issues, but in general I think every Bok nib I've actually tried touch wood um, has been excellent I, I, I've always really liked them 
and it's you know in these Namisu pens I'm always happy with them um, reverse writing is possible and it is absolutely smooth and it keeps up so you've got fine down to extra fine I'd say it's definitely an extra fine but it's really really good it's really smooth no issues there whatsoever and I, I'm really really happy with it this ink now I am going to talk about the ink now um, before I conclude the, the pen review this ink can you see that colour there this is one of the most difficult to describe colours for an ink I've ever oops I've ever come across it's a noodler's ink which I know will immediately put some people off it's noodler's dragon's napalm now remember that this is a fine nib so I mean you're not going to explore the best properties of an ink in a fine nibbed fountain pen but you can already see that the colour and the colour is actually coming out really quite well over the um, in this camera um, it's it's hard to describe it's it, I would describe it most of a, as being a red ink but it's almost red coral um, it's got that pinkish orange tint to it that you'd expect with coral but it is not a coral pink color it's a coral red color it's strange trying to uh, trying to really describe it and what i want to do is put this into a um, into a broader nibbed fountain pen and just talk about uh, talk about how that ink then performs in there so really really nice ink really attractive color very different and it's a very very nice fountain pen so i hope you found that this uh, this video was useful thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time bye